Hi, and welcome back to Pia Tech Talk. If you are a developer working with STM32 Cube IDE, today's video is going to make your coding life a whole lot easier. We're going step by step to install Copilot for Eclipse, a powerful AI tool that integrates seamlessly into the STM32 Cube IDE to help you write code faster and with more confidence. I guide you through the entire setup process so you don't miss a thing. Before we get started, make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel and ring that bell so you're always up to date with the latest tutorials and tips. Are you ready? Ok, let's get into it. Now we have opened the project, we go under help and then we look at that we have the Eclipse Marketplace and we just see that we have the environment up to date so we click to check for updates and there were no updates found so we are up to speed and we go under help again and then we click on Eclipse Marketplace and this window will appear and then we can just search for what we're looking for so we're looking for Copilot and there we see the Copilot Eclipse 13.2 or 1.3.2 and uh, that is a version that is uh, free to use and you can uh, also have a pro license or business or in enterprise and you also get a 30 day free uh, pro subscription uh, that you can test out before you uh, would like to continue what you what license you would like to continue with. So you have the Copilot Free, the Copilot Pro, the Business and the Enterprise. And you get the 30 day free of charge Pro license. But then you can change it after this time to, uh, and I think it's $10 per month. And it says here also you can try the Copilot for free for one time 30 day trial. But we continue with uh, clicking install and uh, I have already had uh, this installed once. Uh, I deinstalled it and I tried my 30 days test period so there will be some tweaking around here. So we continue with it and it's installing the software. We can see that in the lower right corner and then after that then we will restart the STM32 Cube IDE. Now we can see that we have a new pilot uh, menu option there and there we can see that it's sign in required and uh, the status and then we have the resources of preferences. So we try to sign into the Go GitHub Copilot. Here we can see that it requires uh, access to GitHub. So this is uh, crucial to know that you need to have a GitHub account. So we log into GitHub and we sign in with our user credentials. And there we can see I'm now signed in as Pia Tech Talk and my use in my GitHub account. We just paste in the code that we got in the last window. And we now need to get the GitHub permission to uh, log uh, to use this uh, plugin. So we will hit this authorize uh, GitHub Copilot plugin. And that is all that we need to do. So we are done. And uh, what I now need to do is to set up the correct uh, license. So that will be some extra steps here. To get this license sorted we can see that we have a status unauthorized and if I click on that one it says unauthorized use so confirm that your subscription is valid. So we click close there and we go under copilot again. And we go under resources and license settings. Here we can see now that the license that I would like to use is the individual license free. We can also open the GitHub page to see our Copilot status there. So if we click on the Copilot, we can see that now I'm using the free uh, license and I'm limited to com 2000 code completion and 50 chat messages per month. So what I now need to do is to log out of the GitHub and uh, log in again. So we did that under Copilot. Now it's just sign in again. And we get this new device code. We just copy that code 
and we continue and we paste in that code that we just paste and copied and we continue again and now we are like uh, like we've been done before so we just authorize and we are set to go now we're waiting for copilot to authorize and now we can see that we are successfully signed in and authorized on our github account so we just click ok we just check the status and we say that now it's the status is eclipse is ready and we can uh, then continue with our work this was the installation of copilot for eclipse in stm32 cube ide if you learned something or you liked the video please give me a thumbs up and if you're not yet a subscriber please consider also to hit the subscribe button it's free of charge and please also use the comment field if you have anything that you would like to tell me. Until I see you next time, stay safe.